Good morning, it's me again, Marina. I'm 60 and I live in Sweden. Uh, so it's time for my Throwback Thursday video. Uh, I'm a bit late, it's Wednesday today and I'm working late, so we will see if I will be able to put this up by tomorrow. Uh, but I hope so. So I'm using this one. It's the Club Nebula palette from um, uh, Kaleidos in collaboration with the Swedish YouTuber Angelica Nyqvist. Uh, and it looks like this. This is a really gorgeous palette. I love it. And I haven't used it in a very long time. Uh, the color story is right up my alley. I love it. Uh, it got darks, it got brights, it got shimmers and mattes and everything you need. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure yet with what colors I will use as per usual. <laughs> I never have a plan. I prepared my face. Uh, I have the Kiko Milano Neutral Eye Base, as I always have. <clears throat> and very shortly I will uh, need to take a break from this filming and take my daughter and her boyfriend to the bus. So, but hey ho. Um, I think I will start with the... Hmm, I'll use that one, the Rock Hopper. Rock Hopper. I don't even know what that means. This is rock, yes, in a rock cliff or whatever, mountain rock. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I will put it along the crease or slightly above the crease. This palette was so popular and hyped when it came out and with it all right for the right reasons it's a really gorgeous palette yeah i've not been filming a lot this past week because nowadays when the weekends comes I'm in my garden because finally we have summer weather and I can do some work in my garden and I do that until it's so late that I can't film anymore because I'm too tired and I want to spend some time in the evenings with my hubby but hey -ho. and in the mornings I'm too tired so I was thinking that I will soon film my uh, next episode in my... I'm starting a monochromatic series, doing on monochromatic looks. So if there's any particular color you want to see next, please let me know. This is much darker than you think that it is in the pan. Uh, <coughs> yeah. And now I think I will use, I was thinking this one, but now I'm kind of, should I take that one? Um, hmm. No, I will take the it's called Cylon, that one. Yeah. Yeah, so my daughter's boyfriend from Italy is here again. He was here um, in February, I think it was. And my daughter has been there in between. Uh, so he's here vis visiting for uh, two, three weeks, something. But tomorrow or tonight, the plane leaves really early in the morning uh, to Paris. He has bought tickets to them to go to Paris from here and then back. 
back to Sweden again just for the weekend because he knows how much she has always wanted to go to Paris so that's really sweet of him to do that she is so excited this is a really nice color combo um, yeah so they're leaving the plane we have quite a bit to go to the airport and the plane leaves like in 15 minutes to 6 in the morning tomorrow so they have to leave already tonight because there's no buses that early that leaves from here to the airport <laughs> so I live on the in the country so the buses doesn't go in the middle and then I start to go early in the morning but not that morning early so they basically have to leave already late tonight and then stay basically the whole night at the airport not a good plan of him he didn't think about that when he booked the tickets that we have troubles getting there to the airport because of <clears throat> and i can't drive them because it's the middle of the night and i have to get up working early uh, tomorrow so Okay, so um, I was planning on using more mats, but now I find, feel like I'm already done and I used two shadows. <laughs> um, okay, cutting my crease. Um, yeah, so I do not feel like working at all because the weather this week has been so nice really hot summer temperatures well <clears throat> sorry i got interrupted my phone rang and i've been taking my daughter to the bus and i've been to the post office to get a package delivered <clears throat> or I, I got a package and I filled up my car with gas <laughs> so now I'm back package from Timu earrings mm, I love it um, maybe I'll film unpacking these maybe if you want to and now the sun comes okay um, so I've been taking in and out my lenses twice and yeah okay so where was I I think I was talking about the weather um, yeah so we had really nice weather and today will be as well even though they said that it was going to rain a little bit in the midday but we'll see um, so I don't feel like working I want to be out in my garden doing stuff uh, so I took, took, <laughs> I took uh, two shadows. What to use on my mid lid? Uh, I'm thinking this one. It's a pinky purpley shift to it, or this one, orangey pink. Hmm. Or green? No. I think I'll go with the uh, pinky, purpley, pinky more. Uh, you're my only hope. That one. I think the names in this palette is from Star Wars. At least a few of them. Uh, you're my only hope isn't that princess Leia in one of the first movies I think or maybe the the first I don't remember I don't know anything about movies I never watch a movie I'm sorry I'm boring like that I don't have the patience to sit still and do nothing for two hours um, yeah so I will use that 
um, and I will take a fluffy brush and I did cut my crease I don't know where I was I'm sorry um, so now I can feel the heat from the Sun in, in my head <laughs> So I will just take that all over my lid to make it quick. <laughs> so this palette is a gorgeous palette and I should really use it more. This is actually a very great idea doing this throwback Thursday thingy because it makes you use stuff that you haven't used in a long time. And it's not that I don't like this, the palettes I'm using, but it's just, I have so much, so, so many. I have more like, I haven't counted in a long time, but a bit over 400 palettes. Um, so you tend to take out the newest stuff and the old stuff, even though you still like those palettes you don't use. And that's a shame. I do not declutter, so I have a lot. Well, a few. And that's really, you know, really, really old stuff that you don't use anymore at all. You don't feel like using it, so why should it be there? And, you know, I have some really old palettes from, like, Wet and Wild or nyx and you know stuff that before i discovered all of this you know indie brand brands things and all of that coffee so um a few things i have throw I, I don't give that away because it's so old so i can't even well maybe if my daughters want them and otherwise i just throw it away um, yeah, so, um, I'm rambling, under my eyes, hmm, I was thinking of taking a completely different color, but I don't know, there's a lot of kick up in this palette. Um, you should not blow into your palette, okay? But it's my palette, so I don't care. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, I don't know. Lately, my... Uh, I have had problems with finding inspiration for looks, so... I'm just stuck on doing the same thing that I always do. I need to. So uh, it's a bit boring, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel a bit stressed. I don't know why. And have no inspirations in the morning when I'm getting ready for work and stuff. So I just smack on whatever and go to work. Uh, it's been like that for quite some time. Sometimes I'm kind of scared that I would lose interest in makeup. Because I don't want that. I don't think I will. But, you know, you, when you have that feeling that you have no inspiration, you don't know what to do. I can sit there and stare in the mornings at all my 400 palettes. And I don't know. Whatever I pick out, I don't feel like using it. And... Sometimes I even feel like, oh, what the hell, I don't, I won't do anything and I will go to work without makeup. Now that have, has never happened so far because I don't like to go to work without makeup. But the thought is in my head. And that makes me worry that I'm losing interest. <sighs> but at the same time, I'm always tired. That's from my RA. I, sleep doesn't make me feel rested. I'm equally as tired when I go to bed as when I wake up. So, and that kind of, it's difficult to 
feel inspired and feel the energy to do stuff when you're so freakishly tired all the time. So, okay, so I will use the other one that I was trying on my fingers, uh, the uh, Celestial, that one, just to get some other color on. And I will spray it. Oh, it's a pretty one. But I'm actually in a couple of weeks, if everything goes to plan, I will have a visitor here. It's another YouTuber woman. She lives just like one hour from me. And we've been talking a bit on our channels and also <clears throat> privately a little bit. And we've been talking like before the COVID happened that we should meet up, but hey ho. <laughs> but now she contacted me and asked if she can come and visit. In, uh, it's in a couple of weeks. So if everything goes to plan, she will be here. I don't know if we will be filming or. Uh, she also has a YouTube channel and she's hers is in, in Swedish. <clears throat> But I will ask her if you want to film together or I don't know. We'll see what we'll do. Um, yeah. I will use this one called Nova. It's a looks white but it has a blue shift uh, as my inner corner highlight. <laughs> There's a lot of kick up here. And I will use my pinky as I always do. It has a purpley blue pink shift. It's gorgeous. I don't know if these colors goes together, but I don't care. <clears throat> oh yeah, so I've been tired and it's been, well, I don't have any inspiration. Um, okay, I think the shadows are down. Um, Done, down, down. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I will do the rest of my face and then I will come back to you. See you in a bit. So I'm done my finished look. Um, I've been using the Club Nebula palette by Kaleidos in collaboration with Angelica Nyqvist. I don't remember how old this one is, but it's some years by now. And I've been using that one, that one, that one, and that one <laughs> backwards for me. And that one is an inner corner highlight. So that's it today. Uh, it's okay. And as my eyeliner, I also used the Cake It Liner in Peace from Artitude Cosmetics. Um, because I thought it was fun with some color that didn't go with anything. The base, as I told you, Kiko Milano. My brows and my mascara is per usual the same as I always use. And my face. Uh, my primer is from CC Multi Effect Makeup Primer. Gifted to me from Darcy at St. Angel Sinners. And thank you. My base is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got mine in 160C. And the powder also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Loose setting powder in vanilla. As a bronzer I actually used a contour color from um, Glam Shop. Don't ask me to pronounce the words on these bits because they are in Polish. I do not speak Polish, but I use that one as my bronzer. Bronzer. Um, I like a bit more cool toned bronzers <coughs> on me. My highlight also from Kaleidos, uh, the Space Age highlighter in Star Surfer. Looks like this. Pretty neutral one. A little bit pinky. And my blush from 
made by Mitchell blame it on the blush palette and I've used the one called I call it Thrill Joy. Yeah, and Face Mist from Me Cosmetic, gifted to me by the brand. Uh, Supercharged Setting Mist from Me Cosmetics. And my lippy, a really old one from Sephora, because I thought it was the same color as the eyeliner. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it. Close up. Something like that. It will be up on my Insta as well. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and yes, that's it. Um, I will rush off for work. And till I see you the next time, be careful out there. Take care. Bye bye.